Want to build free power? You know, I have to start with one of these. A multimeter. Ah, here we have... A box of motors and batteries. This is from one of those bikes. This is a 24 volt motor. You take this motor, watch this. You turn on your multimeter. You look at that. I just take this motor and spin it, and power comes out. How about that? The faster you spin it, the harder you spin it, the more power comes out of it. Pretty cool, eh? That's because inside is magnets in a copper coil. Instead of applying power to the motor, take the motor and hook it to your wheel. It's going to produce your power. It's pretty simple. How I got on with this was... Gears. Big, huge gears. Hard to find. VCRs, folks. Where you want to find them. I'll get to that. Why? These flat motors seem to produce a lot of power. This one I found was good. It's out of a VCR. You hook this to a 1.5 motor to turn that and it's going to produce your 12 volts. Here's your 1.5 motor volt. It's pretty basic. If a retard like me can figure it out, that's pretty simple. Let's see if I can find what started everything. Out of a vacuum cleaner. This has lots of power to move you down the road in your bike. No problem if this little tiny motor does. No problem. And they're hooking two of these together. Imagine what two of these would be. Well, you'd have to plug that into a wall unit. Well, now you can get. It's called an eliminator battery. Look at this. You plug it straight in. Now you take that, plug this motor into there, and you have constant power. You have to stop to recharge this. Oh, do you now? Well, right here on the side, the plug in to charge it. And that charger, right there, is this adapter, which is 13.5 volts output DC. Wow. I don't know if this would produce that. I'm sure it would. Now hold on, I gotta get this box out of. World comes down. Here's what happened to my shop in May 6th of it. This produces 33 volts of power, even though it looks like a piece of crap because Vandal broke it up and no one gives the car that broke up my camera that I was trying to make back then to do it. It's taken me all these years to get going. Anyway, more to take pieces off of it. Here is the actual small one for your phone. What happens is right here is a magnet was supposed to be on there. It goes through this copper coil and every time it did that it made a charge. And it kept this thing going but everything got vandalized and broken. Here is the plan. It says right on it. December 14th. Let's open it up. Ah, what's this? It's real simple. See, it's a little tiny motor. These all worked at one time, but people are jealous and don't care. And that's what I'm trying to prove to you guys. Nobody cares. Let me go back to my over here. My computer. There we go. How it started was with this. Here's a picture of those shakable flashlights. Here we have the magnet goes through the coil and keeps it charged. Well, instead of charging a light, why don't you charge a 1.5 motor? See? Once you charge that 1.5 motor, you put it over here. Put it on a piston system like a car. Make the movements mag so they get pumped by this one motor. Hey, these four shafts, what's that going to produce? 4 times 3.5? More than enough power to keep the 1.5 to keep the whole thing going. There's your 12 volts to keep this going. So you take that little 4.4 that I showed, hook that to this, this to hooks to that. You never have to stop to recharge your car or your bike or whatever. Now I got these ideas. 
was from that one flashlight right there, shakeable flashlight. It has one there to show you, but I couldn't find it. And here's. Come on up. There's bigger pictures of this on my shows how I took the flashlights, put them up, and made a four inch gear to pump them, and it works. The only problem is, is the magnets want to stick to each other, which prevents it from moving. So, I went over to this one. No, oh, it's better if I just go right to my site and show it here. Here's my website. There's the address. At Robo Unicron Creation, SPEG.HL. I'll even say, a little write up in 18. 50 found that running magnets past copper goals give electric clearance. This is how blah 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 blah. blah. No one cares. Pretty sad, eh? So, here is your better picture of it here on my internet because it blows it up, shows how everything will work to that. When I figured that out, I went to this, figured, hey, let's put six of them. And then I said, well, let's make it so it's like on a disc and balances around and it'll make them all go up and down instead of having pistons. Then I got really smart and said, let's make just one magnet go through a tube and have it moved from the motor on the bottom. And that's how I came up with uh, this one, I guess it'll show here. Here yeah, that's what I'm trying to show you. And here's the actual prototype that I made in the homeless bum shelter after they vandalized my shop to prove that it works. And how it goes is down here, right here is your 1.5 motor volts and this whole thing produces 33 volts. Now all I need is just a little lead off with these wires going down below to keep the one point motor to keep the ball bearing going through this whole thing. It's all made with a street sign, see it's a street sign, no parking, street sign. So the plastic I could get it, thanks I'm broke, I'm living in a homeless bum shelter. That's my reward for figuring out this stuff. And I'm just retard to everybody and put on a disability and put in society's rejects point where I've got no proper key, no proper doors, no proper windows, no proper security. Don't feel safe at leaving my house. These small ones I made, that's when I showed you this is all busted up, but you run this along the ground and it makes this motor run and big deal. Who cares? They thought of that in the 50s, right? This one's more newer because this one magnet goes through this copper coil. If I put the copper coils all the way around this, it would really work great. This would be just awesome, a small one if I could get that. And anyways, I was showing how it could make finger joints, showing how it could make bikes and mechanics for the arms, how the one piston would pump to make everything, how I was thinking of major magnets going through the tube to make it work, but I realized I only need one magnet. And sort of like a car running around underneath and because of the magnetic flow it's the magnet on top is going to follow it and go through these just think of putting little wheel tracks and you, know, you can get these ball bearing magnets from the uh, cabinet stores for cabinets this one here was a real tiny one to put inside finger joints so that as you moved the ball bearing went up inside in and out of this and then it would pump this gear and makes it a little tiny and this is the hydraulic that would go in and out and that would hook like on these finger joints. Yeah, the whole idea is to make a whole robot, it seems. You make this as your heart for your brain. Well, Macintosh made the brain. Here's the heart. These mechanics to make it move are easy. They're all over the internet. It's pretty simple and straightforward to me. And I'm supposed to be a retard. Disability for words, don't know nothing. This one I figured out you could make the coils go inside an arm joint, the guy would never have to recharge his arm. Bionic arm, there's the heart system for, for it. Go on, sorry. No, I'm just talking away like an idiot here. Anyway, I'll see what I can do again. There's the source for it. Let me just start. It's under my self powered electrical units here at the bottom of my site. It's the top of my site. There's me. Oh, learn to play two guitars and sing at the same time so you can get separate sounds and use my elbow as a third arm. No one cares. That's how the world works. Here's a new Megatron from last. Doesn't, no one cares.